There was a recent windstorm in Portland a couple days ago, and this is one of many trees in the Portland area that was uh, that was downed by those intense bursts of wind. And the Portland area, their projections were uh, up to 65 miles per hour. And I think what happened was it was even faster than that in some areas. Um, I believe it got up to 71 and that broke a record. So it was the fastest winds since 1981. So this is uh, at a park. And what I noticed is that a lot of the wood is still here. What comes to mind, for example, if I was off the grid, I'd be harvesting this wood. I would assume that this is up for grabs. So maybe this video is about more than just a tree falling down. Maybe it's about people that could be using uh, something else to heat themselves this winter, save a little bit of money, save $150, save $200, use a wood stove and burn wood. So somebody had, oh I don't know, say a chainsaw, they could be over here cutting this up. Nowhere along this caution tape does it say that you can't cut up this tree. It doesn't say that. In fact, I would assume that I could. There's no reason why I would think that this is off limits for human consumption, for a free uh, fuel source for the winter. You know, stay warm. Use something other than the grid. I don't know, it's just a concept. I, mean, it's, I don't think it's too far out there. I mean, this is like gold off the grid. Say, if something like this were to fall down, it's South Central Colorado, in the middle of the, uh, the Alpine Valley, the high desert. I mean, wood is very valuable off the grid in places like that. So instead, the tree just sits here. You know, someone bothered to put caution tape around it. That's nice. <laughs> but uh, there is no evidence of anyone. I I'm actually really amazed. There's no evidence of anyone cutting this up for firewood. So I was actually here at this park on the night that this uh, blew down, although I didn't witness it. But it was kind of a magical moment being here in this land of trees, being the only person willing to step foot in this park. Certainly no, it's not, not my time to go, not for a long time. So I'm, the least, last thing I'm concerned about is, is trees in a park. But uh, it is good to use common sense. So this is the underside of the tree. You can see how fairly uh, undisturbed it is. And it's just being hanging out here. It's actually almost a week since this thing uh, blew down. Almost a week. So yeah, apparently no one's uh, gotten to removing this or chopping it up. Uh, maybe I will monitor the situation from here on out and we will see how long this uh, tree corpse will remain.